Hello everybody and welcome to the draw for the first Blood Bowl 3 Cabal Vision Chalice. We have the 16 teams that are top of ladder have been drawn in a tournament. And here to do the draw with me is Fymir. Hello! Hello! <laughs> so Blood Bowl 3. Here we are for the first chalice of this uh, new edition of the game. Mm, very exciting. So we've, we've got a, a very nice spreadsheet that's been, uh, not spreadsheet, PowerPoint presentation that's been made for us to, to take us the matchups and everything. So the first match, as you can see there, is Spirit or Log with Nurgle versus Mark with Dwarves. And... If you can discern anything on the screen, that will give you a clue. But fear not, because we've got Blood Bowl 3 open as well, so I can look at the teams. So here is Spirit or Log with BB3 is okay. 2,043, well, 2.4 million team value. Um, lots and lots and lots of claw, mighty blow, guard, block, defensive. The defensive he just run out of skills, I guess. <laughs> yeah, some tackle, lots of tackle, four tackle. This is lucky to have that much tackle because uh, clearly this uh, challenge is going to be full of elf teams. Yeah. Hundred percent sure of that. They're, I mean, the before, best teams are elf teams. <laughs> yes, before, before we go uh, through, maybe we should explain how it's going to work. This uh, challenge cap is going to be different than the regular uh, challenge you have seen before, guys. Because this one is 16 teams mm. that were the top 16 teams in the ladder at the, when they decided to stop it. There is a, no limit for the races that could be of any race, so there could be you know 16 teams of the same race or whatever. So we're going to see a lot of teams, <laughs> a lot of dwarves and uh, equivalent, and it's a race format. Mm. So the teams. Uh, doesn't suffer any damage from one game to the next. Yep, very good point, very good point. Yes, they, due to the limitations of the client, they're going to have to be friendly matches. And uh, this could be a favourite for the Cup. This this team is amazing, right? This team is actually amazing. It's got, you know, what, four, five, six, seven, eight claw for all the dwarves and the orcs. And then it's got four tackle for the uh, for the elves. Yes, yes. It uh, has a decent, uh, no, a very good ball carrier. Sorry, because the the plus uh, the plus is to the stats doesn't show in the skill list. It shows yeah, in the, makes it hard, yeah. Uh, so yes, there is the there is a dirty player, no uh, sneaky git. No, true, true. Bit but uh, that is a really good. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's an incredible team, <laughs> an absolutely incredible team. I'm surprised of the massive, absolutely massive amount of glow. I mean, it's like glow is not as good as it used to be. It's not. So you know, it's really not. having uh, the <laughs> that insane amount of it. <laughs> but I guess at some point, you know, you're running out of skills to give to people. So yeah, you know, maybe it'd look better with with Stanford and all these guys, um, and then keep the claw and the tackle on the beastmen, but. Um, it's still, you know, it's very rowdy, and the, you know, the, the the ladder is very rowdy, and obviously yes. all this claw got in more concedes, which got this in person, uh, this coach, like this, co this coach decided decided to. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna make a team like in Blue Ball Two. I don't want to learn new things. Yeah, there you go. Um, so, and then we can go back. He's against Mark with dwarves. Um, so. We can look at this team in full. Ooh, movement seven, add two plus runner, 1.9 million TV. Couple of defensive again. So, you know, we're seeing a little bit of defensive in play as the new wrinkle, aren't we? Um, yeah, it's a. Uh, well, it makes. It's very good versus guard, so. And if you have guard and defensive, it's like uh, having double guard. Yeah. And a sneaky get dirty player. Probably Morg as well for this match, but uh you know Morg's gonna be in danger against all that claw, isn't he? Yes, and also uh, I don't know who's gonna be the 
uh, the the money spend it for the so or are the, the, you know, the can kind of spend over dog or underdog or how that's gonna be. There's a rule called financial fair play, in which case the the com the the two competitors, if they agree to spend any money from petty cash, they can. If they don't both agree to it, they can't. So I don't I can't see anybody agreeing to use it, so I imagine there's not gonna be any used. So there you go. But yeah, but they have to choose a favorite between this team and the Nargle team. I'll go with the Nargle team because oh. probably as much uh, as much guard as this team, but much more strength. Yeah, the Nurgle look way better, way, way better. I, th I think that's a, a big, big favorite, the Nurgle in this match. I mean, it's 500 TV higher. <laughs> yeah, and and it's like and it's just got the claw like so much claw like all that claw looks amazing even even though the claw is nerfed and nowhere near as good as it used to be it's uh, it's actually substantially worse but uh, it's still it's still plenty good enough all right so that's the first match the second match there you go Eludius versus Nolly two uh, two names we know that Fumble is Claw's correct and it's a. Uh, Orc, an orc mirror might have to get used. Might get used to orc mirrors in this format. <laughs> there could be a chance. There could be a chance that there's gonna be a... orc uh, mirrors. Yeah. Um, okay, so here we go. Here we go. We've got um, Aludius, 1.95 million. There's a lot of guard. Well, I say a lot, only nine. That's that's less than a ducky team. <laughs> Bare, uh, barely any guard. <laughs> eight mighty blow, uh, two defensive and two tacklers. And the ball carrier is going to be the goblin. It sure or looks what? like it, yeah, block goblin. Or either it's a dodge or block uh, line. No, there's a block line. There is no sure hands or, yeah. or anything. Forgot to make a ball carrier here. <laughs> but um, I mean that looks that looks pretty solid, doesn't it? You wouldn't want to, you would not want to spin into that. I don't think ever. <laughs> yes. And uh, once again, uh, defensive in a couple of players, mm. but no stand firm at all. No, not true. That that's the thing this team is missing, isn't it? Like you could give stand firm to literally everybody on this team, and it would be better. But you know there is a limit to like how much you can build up. Like um, you know there's a lot of missed next games and stuff. And oh shit. Nearly said, nearly swore. Flip me. We should look, take a close eye on rerolls. Um, as we can see there, there's only three rerolls. Uh, some teams will probably come in with a bunch of rerolls. Uh, you know, in the old days of Blood Bowl 2, um, pretty much every team would have three rerolls, right? But uh, in these days, we will definitely see some teams with more than three rerolls. Right, and he is up against. Nolly with actual Frenzy Orcs and they actually are Frenzy Orcs as well. Look at that. And even it has a pile on or whoever is a host called nowadays. Pile driver. Pile driver. Wow, these were surely random skills made just before the cup. That's that's the excuse and out I'm giving them. <laughs> yes, yes, because well uh, <laughs> it's not very good. <laughs> no. Uh, so yeah, the nature of the tournament with it being res um, and you know not having bank and everything and TV at 2.175 not mattering so much and unable to like you know min max before the matches, uh, people just spent all of their spare TV on getting random skills, uh, uh, the, the spare SPPs getting random skills uh, pretty much. So um, what we've got, we've got, a, we've got two sneaky get dirty players. Goblin and Ooh, an orc line. And an Arino, yes. Mm, that's nice. Bunch of guard. Some stand firm. Lots of frenzy. Lots, Lots of stand, of stand firm. Mm. Even uh, a big uh, and with uh, a couple of them with Juggernaut. Yeah. That's interesting. So very, very happy days. Mm. Big, big lack of tackle. Huge lack of tackle, which uh, you know, obviously not going to matter too much in the mirror. But could... and one of and Kaolin G has been injured, agility injured twice. Oof. <laughs> well, 
Okay. There's not many dodges without the black or sorry, big one. Yeah, big and a big and blocker. So yeah, that's, that's big and bloggers. So more strength, more guard, more sneaky get DP. I think the sneaky get DP um, is going to edge this one in Nolly's favour. To be honest, uh, Nolly would be my pick for this match. Yes, also yeah, the whole lot of players there. Mm, four rerolls. Yep, four six, rerolls. Sixteen players. Um, this is interesting because I don't know if they're allowed to sack anybody. Uh, and 16 players is a bit risky because if, you, if you've if you got 16 players with a, a 21-75 team, you might think that's a lot of TV. You might think that's a lot of TV, right? But uh, the teams that you can come up against in this cup <laughs> might be Elliot's team <laughs> with two, two and a half million TV. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, a space for a star player might have been an idea. So, Elliot versus Shtick, Dark Elves versus Dwarf. That's exciting, isn't it? Oh, it's only 30 players, not only... Sad. I'm so surprised people didn't spend all the extra money that they have in re-rolls or something like that <laughs> before, mm. yes, you know, qualifying. Yeah, well, well, that's the thing Elliot has. I mean, this is... This is the definition of uh, Blood Bowl 3, pretty much, right? We've got the top end, Elliot, 2.5 million, 6 re-rolls, 16 players, <laughs> 3 dirty player sneaky gits. <laughs> there you go, with some randoms like cats, uh, sprint. Yeah. 4 guards. <laughs> he can just What's the skill in the second runner? Um, that's a the good second question. runner, they have Safe another pair skill. Of hands. That was a, that was a random. Oh okay, yeah, obviously yes, yeah, it's a random. Yeah. I guess he was trying for a leader. Uh, I don't know. I think he was looking for the one in one in eleven chance of a leader. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's uh, the yellow guard is defensive, and it's uh, you know it's, that is the interesting wrinkle. I mean, that is the most interesting. Wrinkle of Blood Bowl three, I would say that's the the big difference. Right? Obviously, the big difference is the loss of uh, piling on, but the you know at this kind of TV, that's when defensive comes in. You're not going to see it a lot in redraft formats, um, but in the like giant, the giant uh, kind yes, of format. Yes, and Elliot, now. Elliot has taken very uh, seriously these uh, challenges. There are rumors that he hired a. Uh, private Australian uh, blue ball coach <laughs> to go to his hometown, you know, and coach him and guide him, you know, how to play, you know, how to improve blue ball three. That's very true, yeah, very true. But I mean, this is this is a monster team, and the, the three sneaky get TPs means you can just easily out bash, bash teams, like, it's it's so ridiculously overpowered and stupid. Um, I don't know why he's so overpowered, uh, Jimmy, he's playing a... Uh, <laughs> To our viewers, because may, may, maybe there are people that doesn't know the ultimate power of a sneaky git dirty player. Well, that's that's a that's a good point. Um, Shtick may find out that's the opponent. Um, so dirty player, as you know, plus one to injuries or armor or injuries. Sneaky git now means you only ever get sent off on the injury roll. You never ever get sent off on the armor roll, whether you break or not. And you can also move after your foul, so you can like hit and run with a foul. It's really pretty amazing. Incredible skill now um, is is sneaky git, an absolutely wonder skill. And you know, um, if you look at if you look at uh, fumble and stuff, Elliot won a major on fumble uh, with with Elvin Union, and he handily outbashed. A, an orc team in the final just because he had you know a couple of sneaky get dirty players and, and it, that's all you need you know you he's got if you've got enough guard you'll be able to get a two dice block if you get a two dice block you get a massive gang foul <laughs> it's just there stupid you, are. you know there you are. Uh, this is a really nice runner here we've got the movement eight agility two plus blodge runner pretty standard the standard dwarf runner <laughs> and uh, loads of stand firm Eight stand firm, nine guard. Not that much mighty blow. Oh no, yeah, they've all mighty blow. <laughs> I got confused. There's too many skills. Yep, loads of mighty blow, loads of stand firm, loads of guard. This is a really nice dwarf team, isn't it? Really nice. Only seventy TV too. And the first piece we see with uh, Pro, mm. which now is much better because Pro now works in a three plus and it's only one dice. 
so you are blocking, you know, and uh, you get the uh, bot down or bushes, you can still try to use pro and you are not that in any danger. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a very interesting uh, thing. Here comes Elliot, I think oh, he's uh, not coming along, he's coming with another 69 people. Where nice. is? <laughs> Amazing. Thank you very much, Elliot. Absolutely perfect rail. Rail? <laughs> I don't know why I said rail. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. <laughs> you were just commenting your opponent here that you're gonna discover uh, the sneaky the, the, the player power. <laughs> why I would say rail coming from a 69 person raid with Elliot and <laughs> Elliot and Kadenik. I don't know why I said rail. <laughs> I just keep my thoughts to myself. <laughs> right. Anyway. Friendly I stream. I yeah, I mean, this looks huge favorite Elliot right in this match. Uh, I guess Schlick will take, will maybe take Morg and, and loads of prayers to Nuffle. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. It's uh, it's it's going to be tough to run. But, you know, you know, mass mighty blow and guard and tackle. Can, I mean, the can tackle uh, does the Lord's job. So, yeah, Morg. Uh, Apos because those uh, sneaky gits if the players are gonna absolutely annihilate the dwarves. Oh yeah, biased ref. Oh biased yeah, you can ref, take yes. the biased ref inducement. Yeah, that's it. Does that work in Blood Bowl Three? Is that is that in the game? Does it work? Yes, Two huge is, questions it's... that will be on Stick's mind. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think uh, this and it works. <laughs> And, but the, that doesn't change the fact that the stick is uh, eight hundred thousand TV down. Yes, it's it's a lot. It's that, down that, a lot the, of TV. The bottom line is uh, <laughs> is. Uh, but you know, if if a team can do it, it's it's boring old wars, isn't it? So it'll be it'll be interesting. I mean, I don't think Elliot will think it's over. Put it that way. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, and now we've got another orc mirror, but it's not orcs versus orcs; it's orcs versus black orcs. Jesus, black orcs would reach the top. I mean, wow, what a fantastic new addition to the blue ball uh, uh, the team roster, the black orcs. It's amazing that he did it. Yeah, I wonder if it's going to look like a circle team. That's that's the that's the question that we've all got. Again, two blood ball, two stalwarts. Uh, Krupy. I don't know if Krupy's one one ch ch champs ladder or not. Uh, CCL. I don't know if he's one or not. He, he might have Dimi. done. Dimi, is uh, this creepy one? I you know they are doing really, really well in Charlie's way. But no, Dimi informs me that he hasn't. <laughs> he hasn't won. Okay, also, creepy has gone for a different route with his with his uh, Orc team. He spent loads of doubles getting dodge. That's interesting, isn't it? We saw the others tended to go for stand firm. Um, he's gone for loads of dodge and a, and a guard, a, a defensive. So that's, that's pretty interesting, isn't it? Yes. Also, another fact of a guard, you know, that, that makes things even more interesting now, guard works when you're fouling. Mm. So, you know, you can see a place that can may look a little weird, but with the new rules, thanks to a sneaky gear allowing you to move, a player can just move, foul someone surrounded by your own guard players, and then run away. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Bethel. He did. He did do very well recently, which is why I thought he might have won it. Um, yes, only three rerolls. Could have used some of this money to get a fourth reroll, as you say. You know, like it, it is kind of surprising. You know, all these teams have got loads of money in the bank, and three rerolls is a bit tight. You know, with the new rules, the multiple rerolls. There is the chance that not many of them knew that the, the season was ending. <laughs> no, but they could. They still had the chance. You know, after the end of the season. Oh, yes, true, it's true, it's to, true. Yes, yeah, I will spend the money in. A, at least uh, four rerolls, five rerolls. Yeah, I, th I think at least four. I think at least four for the Bash teams and at least five for the Elf teams, I, I, I think, is the other sweet spots. Um, but yeah, lo loads of dodge. That's going to be interesting, obviously. Not so good against the Dwarves. Um, but, you know, the, it's... Uh, yeah, Bloch, Stan Firm, uh, is a uh, guard, is uh, very, very powerful. Mm, it's going to be good in like the orc mirrors and versus the uh, versus the uh, other uh, you know other teams that aren't dwarves. <laughs> right, and he is up against Sergal with a fifteen hundred TV team. So, not you know, 
more or less a usual level circle team that we're familiar with in, in Blood Bowl 2. Um, block Guard on a bunch of them. Yes, uh, Block Guard, some Mighty Blow, bunch of goblins around, and a, a very decent uh, troll. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Guard Block Defensive, I mean... Defensive double is a big, big pick, right? Big pick to take that. Like it, it is obviously it does make for a good line, makes it hard to two D people and stuff. But, no, um, no, I won't no. give nope. in until I'm victorious. Thank you very much. And I will defend. <laughs> uh, Calcium will defend. the money himself. I fucking hate now, uh, oh, yeah. And now, the thing with defensive is if you have one player going defensive, it cancels all the guards uh, around him yeah it, so it, that, that makes it really that it makes it incredibly powerful because it's just one play with defensive destroys all the guards of the opponent yeah yeah Re really good for like the like a troll on the los it is a, you know a, um a tree man on the los it's actually a really good skill for them i mean obviously would like stand firm as well but that's a, that's a pretty good pick but you know obviously could have been like dodge or or a you know stand firm and something maybe but uh pretty pretty good uh thing and <laughs> calcium unbiased as ever but uh understandable of course yeah, after, Hinch, after uh, the... calcium. we are trying to keep it this family friendly guys we are trying, trying to be to family this... friendly yes yes, yes, yes please calcium um but so there you go uh but you know obviously i'm not saying for, forgive or forget but we're trying to be we're just trying to be polite <laughs> and yeah only a sneaky get goblin but yeah i mean this looks like a real real heavily favored heavily favored game for creepy i would say um, yes also one thing uh, with the defensive it makes your players with defensive the biggest target of all your team and that's true, yeah, that is, that is... <laughs> you know, you, you want to make a blitz, <laughs> foul target, just give someone defensive. <laughs> yep. Um, so, the next matchup, we have Sirizia, don't know who that is, um, versus Sexador de Orcos, don't know who that is. I mean, could these be alts from Blood Bowl 2, or could they be all new coaches? We'll probably never know. <laughs> Um, but Orcs versus Dwarves, a classic matchup. And we've got Serezia with three rerolls. 1940 TV. Uh, what the hell is this? Armbar. So must have gone like random on some of the some of the big ones until he got lucky with like random uh, random guards and stuff maybe. I don't I don't know. Couldn't have picked that on purpose, could he? No, ninety. No, 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 no. Armbar is, doesn't sound like the kind of first, uh, second pick for a big arm blogger. Hmm. Interesting. So it must have gone block first, then random second. Random second. And then mm -hmm. uh, regretting it. I mean, if it was a choice, you expect to see Tackle at least uh, next to it, you know, to combine with Armbar trying to get the. Uh, Mm. The the sorry I'm distracted by chat. Paul is saying thing. <laughs> uh, is uh, combine it with uh, you know the both of them. So when they dodge, they get the extra like mighty tackle. I mean the, the the problem with armbar is it's so flipping bad. It is probably best just to ignore it. It's terrible. It's one of the worst skills, if not the worst skill in the entire game. It's so unbelievably bad. So maybe he just thinks, oh, well, I haven't got armbar. Don't play like you've got armbar. Just forget about it and then take guard and stand firm. <laughs> and he's got uh, 10 yes. minutes I mean, TV. Yeah, it's, but when it works, it's going to be so funny. It's going to be so funny that he works against someone and, and the gutter runner dies or something like that thanks to armbar. It's going to be beautiful. Uh, no, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that um, armbar is better than power driver. Right, we've got uh, armbar is worse than power driver. Sorry, I don't know why I said completely the wrong thing. I'm pretty sure Dolce and uh, it's not. So yeah, we've got what's this goblin here with safe pair of hands and leap. Leap, good safe pair of hands. Uh, well, well, uh, yeah, it's, it's safe pair of hands. It must be an agility skill, right? So I guess he's taken three random agility skills. 
Yeah, because he's sent 70 TB, yeah, so he's just taking three randos on the goblin. Doesn't care too much about him. Some tackle, bunch of guard, not hardly any mighty blow. I mean, say hardly any. But for for the for the for this kind of TV, there's not a lot of Mike Blow, and this is not not the best team in in the competition. This one. No, and there is uh, more than a few players with sure hands. If you pay attention, because there is a <laughs> Mister Thrower. Oh wow! There, there is a sure hands uh, blitzer, and but he's missing agility oh, and the uh, thrower. Yeah, and got a plus movement there. We've got to look. We've got to look for the stats on these on these uh, on these teams because it's not obvious um, when they have rolled when they have rolled. Uh, and uh, yes, stats. and here is the team uh, Sexador, uh, the Orcos, Orc Sexer, <laughs> and yes, the name of is Do the Math Sex. <laughs> Which is funny because Dome Math is like pretty much the best thing about Blood Bowl 2 when it comes to like the ranking and the, and the matchmaking and stuff. Dome Math is actually a great way. And it kept people's hopes alive to qualify and stuff. And, and uh, let's be honest here, this team is not even 1200 uh, TV. So. No. Oof. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, good luck. Good luck versus Sirazia here. This is a very, very weak team. Uh, My heart to... goes to you, Sexalo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is, I mean, oof. A couple of brawlers. Interesting. Were these randoms? Yeah, no, they're all the... random. Yes, all, all random. This guy, Ulmi. all random. Random guard. Interesting, the random thing. It's, it's really hard to, like, tell. You know which which have been random, which haven't, because you've got to calculate it all through the TV, haven't you? But um, yeah, it's an interesting team. <laughs> it's an interesting team, but you know, two rerolls. Uh, probably going to go out in the first round because you know TV does matter a lot, even though there's morgue and stuff. Um, yeah, um, I'm still not backing a team this week, just because like the other teams are so strong, right? Like that's the thing. It's not just it's not just the fact that like you know it could be better. It's the the fact that the other teams are better. <laughs> Only two rerolls, so yeah, this team has uh, is in a rough, rough uh, times. Yep. Because they must have been playing a lot of games because uh, how it was based the uh, ranking system in the pre season or pre season one. Yeah. They were. Some interesting numbers in the amount of games the teams play it. Yeah, and he's, he's still not taken like the randoms here where he's got like 30 SPP banked, which he shouldn't be able to have banked. Um, 19 banked, so you know, a bit of uh, problems with the Blood Bowl 3 client there, um, allowing um, illegal things to happen. But there you go, you know, could have at least put in a random to see what he got, but it hasn't bothered. Uh, obviously, just wants want even more inducements. So there you go. I mean, I think that's a big favourite, the Orcs, in that one, even though it's not the best Orc team we've ever seen. Right, next match. It's Jekka. Don't know who Jekka is. Uh, do we? Do we know who Jekka is? I don't. I don't think so. Um, I, I, I don't remember. Versus Andri, who of course everybody knows, uh, won the first World Cup in Blood Bowl One. So there you go, and has uh, won the Blitzpit teams, I believe, as well. Andri was on that team. Um, a perennial Blood Bowl 2 contender. Uh, but let's have a look at Jekka's team. It seems first. that, yes, in case uh, people didn't know who was Sexador, it seems this Irumaceo is the uh, uh, Sexador. So, yeah, he coming uh, coming out here, you know, live in this uh, <laughs> we, we, presentation. We did suspect it was him, seeing as he has like a million aliases already on Blood Bowl 2, but nice to have confirmation. Thank you. <laughs> Um, right, so here we go. We've got Jekka with uh, a Chaos Team 2, just over 2 million, 4 rerolls. Nice to see the 4 rerolls. Uh, yeah, a bunch of randoms here. Um, some guards, some Mighty Blow, some Claw. It's I mean, all for right. A, for a 2 million TV team, is it like, there are not that many icons there. No, it's interesting, isn't it? He's got a lot of he's got a lot on the uh, he's got a lot on the beast men here. Uh, he's got a he's got a sneaky get dirty player that's also got wrestle and guard. I mean that's okay, that's okay, not that's yeah, that's like, that's, well, that's hundred fifty, that's hundred fifty. The troll is hundred twenty five. Yeah, 
I mean, when when you compare it to that first Chaos team we, we saw, <laughs> nothing's going to look very good to compare to that, is it? <laughs> that set the bar a little bit high, the first Chaos team. Um, but I mean, this is probably fine, right? Yeah, m missing, missing obviously a bit of tackle, a bit of claw, a bit of stand firm, um, and a bit of guard. But you know, it, it's not terrible, is it? It's not terrible. <laughs> yeah. It's not terrible. But I guess he's got a good drawing against Dwarves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the skill in the Dwarf player? The one that is look... Uh... Oh, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> um, let me... Get it back for you. The 12th player. Yeah. Uh, Brawler. 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 Right. So, yeah, he's up against Andre's Dwarves. So it's going to be interesting, isn't it? Because obviously some of them we know are like good coaches. Uh, from there is a too. surprising uh, amount of Spanish coaches. Nice. And I see this with any second meaning. I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't know, because I know the joke. Calcium is in charge, so... <laughs> I mean, there is 16 coaches that are qualified. And we have seen more that... Uh, a lot that are Spanish, so good job, the Spanish community there uh, battling through but uh, Blue Ball 3. fucking drop kick, Jesus. Buen trabajo. Yep. Good job. <laughs> yep. Um, so now we've got 1570 dwarves, yeah, a bunch of guard, uh, very little mighty blow, but of course we'll get Morgan Thorg, which is, he's got really big mighty blow. Um, sneaky git, dirty player, move, move up runner. Um, it's all right, uh, isn't it? I knew, I knew as soon as I said the word Spanish, the joke was going to come out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Calm yourselves down, everybody. Calm okay. yourselves, guys. It's a new beginning. It's a new page in the history of Blue Bull. Yeah, I mean, mostly a new page, of course. Some things <laughs> will remain <laughs> over yes. some people's heads forever. It's a new page, but the history book is there. But this is a new page. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is going to be interesting, right? Because the claw is not the terror it used to be, uh, and Morg is a terror. So you know, Morg might just take this game over by you know, and, and that's a thing when all these games with the big the big TV gaps, Morg might just take over the game by himself. You know, like you just you just yeah, never know. The fact you know. that Morg has Mighty Blue, Mighty Blue plus two, it makes that the can annihilate the other team in just a few turns. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really wild. Really wild, right? So there. I mean, I think I think the favourite's the chaos there, though. But uh, pretty close, pretty close this one. Well, the Rob Metake is asking when the start the match starts. Uh, they start when the participants agree, because mm. there is no cabal vision. There is some problems because <laughs> they need to at least one of them or both of them have to stream the game on Discord or record it or something like that. So yeah, they, it requires some uh, situations yes yep. polar problems in blood Bowl 3 more or less like your bedroom problems <laughs> absolutely <laughs> incredible to hear them about <laughs> who could have who could have who could have known about this all right anyway so now we've got uh dolce versus gadenic uh, old world alliance not that crazy not as terrible old world alliance not as terrible as first believed by some people maybe myself i don't know how how critical i was of old world alliance but when you think about it they're not actually that bad the, the thing that the thing that taints old world alliance is you think of like normal dwarf long beards and how much worse these are than normal dwarf long beards whereas really you should be like comparing it to a normal human team right and if you compare it to a normal t human team, it does actually compare somewhat favorably because we've got, um, you know, one catcher in the same way as you can have one good catcher on a human team, <laughs> you know, for like the TV kind of side of it. Well, that's um, a very good catcher. Yeah, we've got a troll slayer. That, that, <laughs> that uh, has a few, more than a few randoms, I'm guessing, because I don't know who having break tackle and a strength two is a... Uh... It's, it's different now, it's, it's plus one plus one to a dodge rather than use your strength or anything so it will mean oh it's the strength four of less it's the four of less okay 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 mm. so, so it's like uh, having agility four for one uh, dodge exactly yeah so oh, okay that's good 
Yep. You've got a tree man instead of an ogre, right? So like the tree man's basically just better than an ogre, right? And he's got a move up so he doesn't have to roll to stand up. He's got block guard. The troll slayers instead of a blitzer. The the dwarf blitzers instead of a human blitzer. You still get the human blitzer the same. And then you've got two uh two dwarf linemen which he hasn't taken. It's a lot of human linos, a halflings. Mm, with a sneaky gate, of course. Yeah. Um, and the thrower with all the with a blotch and a random. I'm yeah, guessing no, that is a safe pass is a you sure would think so, yeah. <laughs> so it's well, it's not as bad. It's not as bad as it used to be. You know, at least you fumble the pass, you keep the ball, so that's all right. <laughs> yeah. So you know, like, so when you compare this to a human team, like the human team would have an ogre instead of a tr uh, tree man. You still got a catcher the same, and you've got three blitzes instead of instead of like you know three blitzes instead of four. So like it's it's pretty much the same, right? Like it's. And, you know, I, I do think it's better to have the Dwarf Longbeards, right? Even though they're kind of expensive and they don't they don't start with block. Give them block and they're, they're better than these these two players, I think. So um, so it's it's pretty interesting. And, yeah, Old World Alliance, maybe not as good, not as bad as we first thought. Um, two million TV team here. But, uh, yeah. Pretty decent yeah, I mean, team. That catcher and uh, the Troller Slayer... Are carrying a lot of the TV. Yeah, and uh, he's got a little bit unlucky with who he's drawn because he has drawn Gdanik, one of the, the one best. of the very few elf teams. Yeah, I people were talking about collusion. I mean, the two elf teams coaches are under the same roof right now, talking <laughs> to each other. So you know, that's it. The Gdanik travel all the way, all the way from Australia. You know, to coach uh, Elliot. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a known fact. <laughs> so yeah, we've got Gavinik here, two two seven uh, TV, five re rolls, loads of stats here. This is the most stats we've probably seen. Um, we've got three moves up. He's got a strength up. We've got three guards, loads of blodge, some sidestep, a few randoms. A strip ball. I think it's the first time we see a strip ball in a competition. Yeah. Which is surprising because usually even bash teams or you know things some tend to have someone with you know the classic uh, or wrestle uh, tackle street ball uh, beastman or any kind of piece like that, but we haven't seen much of that. Yeah, yeah. I mean this this looks a really good team, doesn't it? Really fast. Um it's gonna be it's gonna be really difficult for anybody to beat Gadenic, I think. But you know, he can anyone can just beat them up right but uh yeah i think this old world alliance team maybe isn't it and i think nick is uh is a pretty good favorite to win this one and finally finally in this uh in the to wrap the eighth match of the first round is artemis black versus exasperation and unbelievable i mean that's a daily battle for him i think <laughs> <laughs> Adam is black. For those that doesn't know him, he's a, a Welsh guy that is famous uh, for streaming hotel episodes and all the all other all, uh, all the TV shows, and uh, more or less uh, remember his golden days in New Orleans. Has <laughs> Adam been to New Orleans? <laughs> I yes. think so. I think so. He sometimes. Um, I as I mentioned about that. And recently, recently, he has taken uh, some interest in Blood Bowl 3. His mm. actual work is as um, a marine biologist. He seems to talk a lot about penguins and other sea creatures. <laughs> so it will be interesting to see this new coach with barely any time invested in Blood Bowl 3, <laughs> you know, uh, qualifying for the <laughs> competition. <laughs> Yeah, interesting that he, uh, that he actually accepted the ticket for once, but uh, it'll be good to see him in, in round one of the cup anyway. <laughs> yes, yes, it's going to be very interesting. Very uh, a slim team, only 18, uh, 1 million, 8, uh, 100,000. Mm. Could have maybe, again, could have maybe gone for the 4 3 roll. Um, pretty min max, isn't it? Very min max. Doesn't even have the second yes. runner. And he has a shadow win in the Troller's Layer, which is clearly 
<laughs> a random uh, general. Yes, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. or knowing Artemis is trying to push uh, the game back in the game that makes the game stall, so he can play the chicken game <laughs> no, to win the cup. It was definitely a random. <laughs> the same as this wrestle on the, on the line. <laughs> Um, yeah, so interesting. You know, I had to take a couple of randoms there, but you know, loads of stand firm. He went, he went guard stand firm uh, on most of the players. So loads of stand firm. Not that much guard actually, especially if you know if, for this kind of format, right? The unlimited TVs that people come in with masses and masses of guard. Uh, it's a bit guard like, but does have a you know one of the best ball carriers in this tournament. The uh, Blodge Move Eight Edge Two Plus, uh, really nice, and a rando strip ball as well. I don't know if it was random, but you know, like random for the team. <laughs> Just having this little strip baller there. So yeah, pretty interesting team for Artemis. And, uh, up against a mirror. Oh, and he got very lucky. He got very lucky, didn't he? I've just seen the TV. Yeah, <laughs> I was looking at that right now. This is the... Uh, Artemis is going to be the overdog over this uh, Dwarves team, but being Dwarves, mm -hmm. 200 TV difference seems like a lot, but in this team, is the difference is the... Maybe the... Uh, uh, well, that's a lot of money in the bank. Like, a lot of money in the bank. I mean, come on, guy. Come on, expedition! For God's sake! Probably could have got a second runner. <laughs> it's like the old team scene uh, when the dwarves got the alchemist instead of, <laughs> instead of the wizard, <laughs> They're having billions <laughs> in money. Yeah. But he has a, he's missing the trolls, the powerful trolls layer from uh, Artemis and the uh, runner. That's the difference. Other than that, I think this team has even more guard. Yeah, than, more guard, uh, more mighty blow. Yeah, more mighty blow, more stun firm. Mm. Yeah, it's actually this is actually really. It's it wasn't. I saw the TV and thought it'd be pretty easy for Amis, but this is going to be tough. Yeah, it's got a good runner. It could be. It could be tough. It could be tough. It's going to be an interesting game. Mm. I mean, it could be a trench warfare where nobody moves any single <laughs> square for 16 turns. But by the way, there is. What happens if there is a draw? How works the overtime in a Blood Bowl three? Um, in a friendly match, that's a good. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, in a in a friendly match, it probably just ends right because it's a friendly match. Then they'll probably just have to have like another match that's just a half. I guess I, I really don't know. I really couldn't tell you. I mean, what a what well, a. Thank you for asking that question. That I have no idea what the answer is. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot of people in chat right now. There's 49 people. Has anyone played? <laughs> uh, and yes, Julian is right. The fact that Artemis has one player with defensive could be absolutely massive because the defensive player can annihilate uh, most of the guard of the position. Mm. Jack said he tested it and it probably works fine. So expect absolutely chaos. <laughs> <laughs> if he's coming from Jack, who knows what's going to happen. <laughs> okay. But uh, I guess uh, one thing to remind everybody before everybody... Uh, uh, there has been a lot of talk about this. This competition is happening more or less because the people running the old CCL in Blood Bowl 2, they said that they wanted to try to do something for this uh, Blood Bowl 3. So things are a little more complicated right now and there are some works around and things like that. So it's something that comes on top of the what you get when you buy a Blood Bowl 3, which depends who you ask is much or not, but it's just people working for free trying to make a competition to make things interesting during this time. Yeah. Because yeah. in theory, there wouldn't gonna be any season, proper season, for at least another two months. Yeah, and even when there are proper seasons, you know, who knows what there's going to be cup-wise. So yeah, you know, yes. big hats off to them. Thank you for them for running this. Uh, I think it's great. You know, you know, we've got exactly. we've got pretty good coaches involved. Away, it we've doesn't take away TV. anything from anyone Glorious. playing Blue Ball Three no, on the preseason mm -hmm. until I'm victorious, and I will defend. I will defend. To wait now for the. <laughs> There you go, that's all the keep. Uh, 32 months waiting to say that. I hope it was worth the wait, uh, all the keep. 
Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, well, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. So just big thanks to them. And uh, you know, obviously, we'll we'll follow all of these matches on on the, the best channel. We can. <laughs> uh, yeah, either replays or live. Uh, you know, through Discord. The crabs I gave my flatmates. Thanks for that. The best or in the case of uh, Elio Dangedini, okay. going straight to the house of the coach and look over <laughs> the shoulder. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we'll see. So, so somewhere, somehow, we will cover all of these matches ah, in this. Fuck! Thank you very much. We'll cover all of the matches in this tournament somehow. I think 15 matches there are all together. Just make a screenshot of every single time a player moves, or there is a dice roll. <laughs> <laughs> make one of these books that you can pay. move the pages very quick. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Right, we're going to have to wrap it up quickly before people keep spamming sound effects. Um, thank yes. you very much, Faimir. Glorious having you on. As always, a pleasure to be here. Glorious. And thank you very much, Yak. Thank you very much, everyone else involved in it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>